Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello and welcome my name is Megan in today's video I'm going to be walking you guys through the new honor active capsule coming on Wednesday May 31st it is Memorial Day today I just drove like five hours home I got a ton of requests from you guys in my DMs for a YouTube video so I didn't want to let you guys down but I'm sorry if this is like a little rushed I'm doing my best to take you guys through the pieces that I received from the varsity collection I'm also going to try to do some color comparisons talk you guys through just like my overall thoughts on the collection the background behind the collection and hopefully this helps you guys out when it comes to shopping the launch on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and let's hop into the video. This capsule is coming May 31st, so this upcoming Wednesday, and it's coming at noon Eastern time. And if you're curious on how to support me, I have an honor active link, which I'll pop on the screen and is in every description of every YouTube video that I post. If you guys click that link and shop directly through it and check out directly through it, it will track and tell honor that you came from me and that I brought you to the brand and you supported me with your purchase, meaning that I will get a small commission of your purchase as well. Thank you guys so much to every single person who takes that extra step. I really try to make these videos super helpful for you guys, and I appreciate all the support back. Let's start off by just chatting you guys through what is the Varsity Collection, kind of the background behind the story of the collection, because as you guys know, Honor doesn't just launch stuff frivolously. There's always kind of a meaning behind launches and campaigns like this one, and so I wanted to just give you guys a little breakdown. So this Varsity Collection actually holds a really special place in my heart. It is really focused towards women in sports and fitness. In LA, Chrissy was kind of talking about this collection. I could tell how much it meant to the company, and she was talking a lot about how in the UK, the level of women in sports is very different from in the US so for me like I grew up played a sport my entire life travel high school it's not really the same over in the UK women in sports isn't as established as it is in the US and that's something that she really wants to highlight and support more is women in fitness and different sports and I love that they're kind of shedding light on the link between strength training and performance training for overall performance in athletics because it does all kind of tie together so in terms of what is launching, there's kind of three different components to this launch. So the first one is going to be performance. That is going to be our sports bra. So we have the everyday sports bra, which is already launched in honor. It's just going to be coming in some new colors. And then also the effortless leggings and shorts. There aren't going to be cycling shorts coming in this launch. It's only the shorter length short or legging. So this capsule is going to be coming in three main colors. So three main colors are khaki, cool brown, and powdered blue. In the sports bra, they're also going to be launching it in warm sand. The next component of this launch is going to be the lounge, which I'm a big fan of. This is a bit of a different launch that we'll touch into later, but they are going to be launching the All Day Varsity Oversized Hoodie, Sweatshirt, and Joggers. And these are all going to be coming in Cole, Minky, and Light Gray Marl. I personally have the Light Gray Marl. And then they are also launching the Oversized Lightweight T-shirt. So good, you guys. You guys are going to love this one. And they're launching that in Minky and Light Gray Marl. I have it in the Light Gray Marl. Love it and have worn it a ton already. And then last Lastly, there is the jersey component of the launch, which is going to be the Varsity V-neck t-shirt and the Varsity shorts, which you guys will see later. This is very different from anything Honor has, just very different in general, but I think it's a great option, especially for women in sports, and this is going to be coming in off-white and coal. And before we get into all the pieces, I just want to talk to you guys about sizing. I'm going to pop my measurements on the screen. These are going to be my most recent ones because sometimes they fluctuate. And in terms of honor sizing and what I got in sizing here, for the sports bras, I'm a size small. For any of the effortless, I'm going to be a size medium bottoms. In the sweatsuits, I'm a size medium in both the top and bottom. T-shirt, I'm a size medium. And in both the jersey and the shorts, I got a medium. So basically medium in everything except for the sports bras. To begin, I'm going to talk you guys through the performance pieces of this collection, starting out with the everyday sports bra. This is it in cool brown. You guys saw me wearing this. I wore it already for a workout, and it is so, so beautiful in person. It's kind of like a lighter shade of brown, almost with a little bit of mauve -y undertones. And I will do color comparisons for the browns and the blues at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I do have, I think, a video kind of reviewing these already, but just the key specs on these. This is going to be a more full, higher support support sports bra. I think it's my favorite one that Honor is offering right now. It is made with performance in mind. It has overall pretty good coverage. I was getting some questions about the coverage on this. Personally, I would say it's mid to full coverage, especially depending on how you decide to do these. I personally like to make them as loose as possible. I have noticed some digging into my traps as I wear it for longer. So I would stay true to size personally, maybe size up if you're worried about this strap digging. This bottom band is very supportive. It really stays in place. I 
I like this bra a lot because I really don't need to worry about adjusting it. If you haven't tried the everyday bra, I definitely recommend it in literally any color that they have available. We also have it in this powdered blue. I really like this color a lot. I think it's probably my favorite color honors released in a really long time. It's just something so different, so bright, and I feel like it's perfect going into spring and summertime. This is how she looks. She looks gorgeous, especially in the natural lighting. Other thing I wanted to note is that there is a little seam here so the bra cups don't get mixed. Their bra pads are the best in the game, really. They're super high support, great material. You can remove them though if you want to. They're the same color as the garment. And even as I wash these, I don't feel like the quality degrades in the bra cups, which is a super big feature. So yeah, these are the everyday bras. Again, just kind of a staple bra to have in your wardrobe. Overall good coverage and support and great for layering as well if you wanna wear it under anything. Now I'm gonna take you guys through the bottom. So first we have the powdered blue in the shorts. I wore these for a hike and basically like a full day with my friends. Love these, I love Effortless. If you guys aren't familiar with Honor Active Effortless or you haven't gotten your hands on it yet, there is a lot of stock. They did do a restock, so definitely check that out. I do have a pretty recent video up on Honor Active Effortless that I definitely recommend you guys watch. I'll put it down below and on the screen right now. It'll talk you guys through any changes from the original Effortless to now along with all the main features and everything just so I don't have to get too in depth with it in this video. But here we have the short length short. Like I said, they're only launching these in this specific capsule. Hopefully over time they also do cycling length, but the inseam here is a bit short. I can measure it and pop it on the screen for you guys. Main things with Effortless, we have the double tiered waistband. It's nice and compressive but it's not too tight I feel like it's that perfect amount and then we have the signature side contour super nice for accentuating the glutes and then we have the glute scrunch which maybe looks a little bit more intense off than it does on I feel like it just is super sculpting and overall is super nice obviously no front seam and then with the shorts my favorite part is that they are super stretchy at this bottom band so they don't really dig into quads or anything like that and then the only logo on these is going to be on the right side it is this new embroidered logo that they implemented recently it stretches with the fabric and will never peel off in the wash and then we have cool brown in the leggings which i did do a full lower body day in these and they held up perfectly that's why they also maybe look a little stretched because i've been wearing them but same thing double tiered waistband all the same specs as the shorts they are just full length. What I love about Honor and their bottoms is they offer short and long lengths. So if you guys are five foot five or below, I would say you could stick with the short slash regular length. If you are five, six and above, I would say go the longer length. If you're someone that just wants to make sure you have length, you can always go long, but at least you have both options. They are extremely stretchy, like, stretchiest freaking leggings I've ever tried in my life super comfortable super flattering and with these I did do lower body and I didn't have any problem with them being see-through personally on me with every single color you kind of have to think about how see-through it'll look on your skin tone since the everyday bra is a more brushed material and then effortless is a seamless material I did want to note that the colors are not 100% exact in the light so this is cool brown in the sports bra this is cool brown in the leggings so it's I wouldn't say it's like a perfect match but because they are two different materials that is why but I just wanted to show you guys and make sure you guys knew that just in advance to buying in case that's like a deal breaker for you same thing is going to go for our powdered blue there's a small difference based on the material but I think no matter what it's complimentary and very cute together Next up, I'm going to take you guys through the little jersey stuff launching in here. I'm super excited about the shorts, so let me talk to you guys about these first. These are like the first of its kind at Honor to have like an athletic short. I haven't yet worked out in these. I'm very excited too. I think I'm going to tomorrow for an upper body day, but they are so cute. They really remind me, like I said, I played soccer my whole life. They remind me of my soccer shorts and we love them. Super loose and lightweight, which is also very nice. If you guys are someone who maybe likes to sprint or do more outdoors, if you want to wear these for sport or if you just want something lighter weight and looser for like a leg day or an upper body day, these are a great option. I think they're so cute. It's This whole collection is giving very old school, which I think is really fun. In terms of fabric, it's like your classic basketball short material. So it has kind of these 
little tiny holes in here. And my favorite feature about them is they actually have pockets and adjustable waist. So you can have a tiny little pocket going on in here. And then if you flip the waistband over one, then we also have an adjustable tie so that you can tie it to fit your waist. This saved my life with these because I'm definitely a size medium when it comes to all the bagginess, but it was a bit big in the waist. So being able to tie it and make it perfect for me was awesome. So I really like these, like I said, very different, but I think they're kind of cool and something fun to add to your wardrobe. And I'm definitely planning to wear these, especially since it's getting hotter where I live. Next up, we have this, which is quite literally a jersey. It's very fun, I will say. It's like a nice baggy fit. We have just this V-neck here. Everything matches together. Honor with the number 20 on it. And then in the back, it's just plain with a small honor logo. It's the same exact material as the shorts. It looks fun together. I feel like the jersey looks better more with tighter pants. So maybe like the short shorts with the jersey over tucked in. To be honest with you guys, I don't know what I would wear this for really. Like maybe the gym is like an overshirt or something fun, but I don't know how practical this would be in my wardrobe like personally, but I do think it's really cute and fun that you could wear it like as an overshirt or just chilling out around the house and stuff like that. And obviously it looks super cute with the shorts as like a full on uniform moment. I know you guys are insane when it comes to these Honor Active t-shirts. You guys sell out t-shirts faster than I've seen like any brand have a t-shirt sell out and it's for good reason because Honor's t-shirts are quality. This knocks the other t-shirts that Honor has out the park and the other t-shirts are already 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed. This is more of a lightweight tee as it's marketed as. It has obviously the cute little logo but this is the softest shirt I've ever touched in my life. I've worn it to sleep the past three nights. I'm not even kidding. It's so lightweight and breezy. You guys can kind of see it in the structure and the silhouette it's so soft like a nice little blanket i know you guys love honor tea so i don't really need to sell you on it but this i will say it is different from the honor tea so don't expect it to feel like the other ones you have it's a completely different feeling it's lighter it's softer but i feel like it's what honor was missing because i personally gravitate more towards teas that are soft we have to finish with a bang and that bang is going to be my favorite things in the whole wide world sweatsuits which you guys know i wear honor sweatsuits day in day out the shorts, the cropped hoodies, the normal hoodies, the crew necks, the sweatpants, every single freaking day. I'm the biggest advocate for honor sweat stuff. I have been since before I worked with them. This, these, insane, actually insane. I've worn these for the past three days because I was on a little trip. It was way colder than I thought and it's all I had. And it was the most cozy I've ever been in my entire life. This crew neck, so cute. I've been wanting it for a while. Chrissy's been teasing it for a really long time and I'm so obsessed with it. Like I said, it kind of has that whole old school varsity letter feel. The quality on this is so, so good. So we have this embroidered honor here in the front in this powder blue. I wore this on the hike over top of my powder blue set and it looked just so cute together. So I feel like it's kind of the perfect combo if you're living somewhere where it's still gonna be a little bit chilly. The inside fleece of both this and the sweatpants is so freaking soft. Really nice, soft to the touch, very comfortable on the skin. Just direct contact on the skin. I was so cozy. It feels like a heavier kind of material kind of similar to the all day these are my most worn piece and i think my new favorite sweatpants especially for lounging around they are so comfy so they are just super soft on the inside like i said i've been wearing them non-stop they're so soft i hope they stay this way forever kind of a different silhouette than honor's been offering with their sweats i love all the different sweats that they have i love the classic ones obviously i love the all day ones these feel like a more in the house trouser moment you could definitely wear these to work out too but i feel like these are just so comfy and loungy. I don't know how to explain it. The fit of these I feel is oversized, like genuinely oversized. When I first received them, I was like, oh my God, are these too big? But then I realized I really like the fit of them just being so baggy and oversized. So we just have this super stretchy and bunched waistband. I love the look of it when it's not folded over personally, but you can fold it over. It just like leads to like this kind of stuff coming out, which I don't really love. As you fold it, there are ties to make it adjustable to your waist and then we have just the tiny little OA embroidery here signature nice and deep pockets I've been fitting my phone in there and carrying my phone and my car keys in here the only thing with these is there's not going to be a zipper in the pocket and then they just come all the way down they're really nice and baggy I'm obsessed with how baggy that they are I feel like I just again want to lounge around in these I feel like they're still flattering though like I did wear them out and about and I think they're still flattering but they are just a nicer bigger baggier 
vibe. Something I will note that I first noticed is I did feel like this crotch was quite long, like here to here. I feel like proportionally it does look better to have this folded over, but I personally have just been wearing it kind of baggier with just like a longer crotch situation because I feel like it's just a lot more comfy and slouchy that way. The other thing I noticed is this is a short length, but I felt like it was pretty long. Like I was actually cuffing the bottom over, which still looked really cute, but I do feel like the short length has some length to it in comparison to some of my other short length honor stuff. Very quickly, I want to take you guys through some color comparisons and stuff. I wanted to show you guys, this is the older classic gray color, and I wanted to show you guys how it paired with this newer gray color. I think it looks really cute together, but it's not the same. So if you have the older classic lounge, let's say in like the hoodie or the crop zip up, I just wanted you guys to see kind of how it would contrast. I personally think it looks just fine together. So in case that maybe stops you from wanting to get a hoodie or maybe you already have a hoodie and you wanna see if it'll look good with the sweats, this is how it looks together. So I'm gonna show you guys how cool brown contrasts with the other brown tones from Honor, since I know that that will be a very highly questioned thing. And then I'm gonna put all the Honor blues together as well so you guys can kind of see how those look together. And that will close out the video. Starting out with sports bras, here is our cool brown and I'll just kind of put her on top of the other colors. This is minky. A lot of people thought that these were gonna look most similar. Personally, I don't think they look similar. I think if anything, it's gonna be closest-ish to deep taupe. And then we have 70% cocoa. I personally think it's like its own shade. It has more pinky to it. Closest to deep taupe, but I think overall it looks very different. All these very complementary to one another, so they would all mix and match really beautifully. Now for the bottom. So left to right, we have 70% cocoa, deep taupe, cocoa brown, minky, and warm sand. You guys, I know, think that these are like hard to tell the difference i agree this is minky this is warm sand very close together cool brown i do think is more distinct and you're able to tell the difference and then obviously these are darker shades i think it kind of fills out the brown spectrum pretty well i think it looks really good and just wanted to put this comparison for you guys because i knew someone would ask and so hopefully this kind of helps you guys when it comes to color combos or just differentiating everything now for the blues so i wanted to show you guys kind of all the different blues in the honor collection and show how this new powder blue looks with them also complimentary, also cute. So here's the powder blue. And the closest I feel like color that people would ask about would probably be, I wanna say this was called like icy, icy gray, smoky gray, something like that. I can't even remember names to like me. This is going to be mineral green in Timeless. Here is light denim marl from Effortless, which I think is probably the closest color match that people would ask about. Then we have slate blue and midnight. Personally, I feel like this is its own very distinct color, very different from the rest, and also super complimentary from them all. So I just want to show you them all side by side, and hopefully that kind of answers any questions you would have about the blue palette across the collections and across the company. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys, and happy shopping on this upcoming launch. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!